Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a really yummy recipe that it seems like you're cheating, but you're not because it's so good. Um, first of all, it is Sunday, Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all my mamas, to my mom. We appreciate all the work you do. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. These are protein pancakes. They are so good, guys, because I know we all like to go eat breakfast and brunch with our girlfriends or with your friends, whatever, and obviously, Pancakes is not a good option. Why? Because they're really high carb, high sugar. They don't give you any nutritional value. So I never order that when I'm out. I always make my own when I'm craving them. So I'd rather make these at home because they actually nourish me, they have really good ingredients and they have protein so I would rather eat these. Like I mentioned before, breakfast it is important. It is important how you start your breakfast because if you start your first meal eating junk food the rest of the day, you're not going to care, you're going to be like, well why are you that for breakfast, so who cares, I'm just going to continue, I already fucked up. So that's why I recommend you have a nutritious breakfast and that's going to kind of motivate you to keep on eating healthy the whole day. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start making the pancakes because I know you guys want to see that so let's okay, get started. So here are our ingredients for our protein pancakes. We're going to use Quest protein powder. I love using this one because it's really good for baking and cooking as you can see here. Great for your shakes, baking and cooking. This is a vanilla flavor. I'm using organic coconut flour. You can find this at any store. I think you can find it anywhere. Um, just like in the section for like energy section of like a store like specialty foods. I'm going to use oat flour. This is um, just basically oatmeal grounded into flour you just basically put it in the in the blender and just ground it until it becomes flour then we're gonna use some this is optional for a little more sweetness this is stevia powder stevia this is by the brand sweet leaf stevia you can also find it at like GNC any supplement store you can find those Amazon and we're gonna use three egg whites um, I don't have liquid egg whites, so I'm just gonna use whole eggs and separate it myself we're gonna use some sweet vanilla almond milk um, this is only 30 calories per serving and then uh, obviously we're going to use olive oil spray to cook our pancakes and some measuring spoons something else that I don't have today but you definitely should add to it is cinnamon and baking powder you can use one fourth of a teaspoon I don't have any so I'm just going to work with what I have and we'll see how they come out okay so we're going to start by adding all our ingredients in this mixing cup we're going to start with our flowers this is the coconut flour we're using two tablespoons And then we're using two tablespoons of the oat flour I was telling you guys about tablespoons. We are using half or two tablespoons of Quest vanilla protein. Like I mentioned before, this protein I love baking with it because it is really thick. So two tablespoons equals around one fourth of a scoop. Just a little dash of stevia for a little more sweetness. Like I said, if you have baking powder, add one fourth of a teaspoon. And we're mixing all of our dry ingredients before we add our eggs and our milk. We're gonna add half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. This is one fourth cup. Two one fourth cups equals half a cup. So I'm gonna add two of these. One, adding three egg whites. You can use a liquid, liquid egg whites. I believe that's around half a cup, but I'm using it from the whole eggs. I'm just separating the yolk. And fun fact, if you don't know, the egg, most of the calories are held in the yolk. Um, one egg is roughly about 70 calories. And from that egg, if you just eat the egg white, it's only 17 calories. So the rest, do the math, is from the egg because obviously it's fats. It is healthy fats, but it's still fat. I'm not saying eggs, it's bad to eat the whole eggs, it's not because sometimes I do eat avocado toast with one egg on top, but whenever you like basically, whenever you eat like more than two or three in a sitting, that is really high calorie, and so that's why I always prefer mixing one whole egg with, with egg whites. Okay, so we're just going to mix, I wish I had cinnamon, but I don't. Let's start heating up our pan. And depending on your protein, if you use a different protein, it might take 
mm, might need more liquid uh, which, which would be the milk the almond milk so just kind of play around with it once you added all these ingredients um, if you if you don't use quest protein you might need less um, milk because like I said this is really thick and it of course a lot of liquid so just kind of like keep an eye out on your consistency it should look like regular pancake mix I feel like I'm on a little, a little bit more milk so let me add more we're gonna start making them we're gonna add our cooking spray I'm just using olive oil cooking spray and we're gonna start I think this is too high So I don't like to make my pancakes as big because I feel like if they're small, I feel like I'm eating a lot. Um, so I put two into this pan. These don't really need a lot of time to cook because we are cooking with protein. Um, they do cook faster. If you overcooking, they might go hard or like really dry. So just don't overcook your pancakes. See, like they've only been there for like literally 30 seconds. So let me go ahead and keep on making the rest and then I'll show you guys how many I got and what I top it with. Okay, so here are my pancakes. I added just about 50 grams of strawberries. I'm gonna add Walden Farm syrup. This is uh, my favorite syrup in the world and I'm always talking about it. This is by Walden Farms. It has no sugar, no calories, nothing. You can find it at GNC, any supplement store, Amazon. You can go to their website. You can probably order from them. It's called Walden Farm. They have other products like dressings and stuff like that but I really don't like them I just stick to this one so I'm just gonna add a little bit and I'm gonna add a fat free whipped cream this is only two tablespoons for five calories so yeah let me go actually go ahead and measure exactly how much two tablespoons look like because you can't overdo stuff like that I'm gonna add my scale that I've showed you guys before this is by a text city I'm gonna add their link below if you're interested in purchasing I love it you can link it to your phone and add everything you eat throughout the day really good for tracking so I'm gonna weigh in how much one serving looks like so it's at zero I don't know if you can see zero grams let's go ahead and add a whipped cream and I should say five okay that's one serving oh let's do two servings there we go, so 11 close to 10. So this is two servings of this whipped cream and it's fat free, so it'll be only 10 calories for this serving, which I'm okay with because it makes it taste so much better. And now that my pancakes are ready, I'm gonna prepare my coffee, which I'm really basic when it comes to my coffee. So here I have my coffee, it's black coffee. I don't know if you can see, probably not. Let me go ahead and show you. This is just black coffee that I made in my espresso machine. Um, so I'm just gonna add some Vanilla liquid stevia. This is by the same brand I showed you guys, but this is in liquid form. Vanilla. I'm just gonna add a few drops. I've gotten a lot of people telling me that they don't like it. Maybe you are adding stevia because this is really concentrated. If you over add it, uh, it's not gonna taste good. And I'm also adding unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is really good also in my coffee. And that's it. This is my breakfast. Really nutritious. Really yummy, perfect to start the day. It's sweet, you feel like you're cheating, but you're not. It's all nutrition, so I'm gonna add the macros here in the screen. And this is just to show you that you can still eat healthy. And eating healthy doesn't mean you have to eat boring or just chicken and salad. You can eat stuff like this and still see results, still, still live a healthy lifestyle and still lose weight. That was it for this video. I hope you guys loved it, enjoyed it, and tried these pancakes. Please show me on Instagram if you do. I love when you guys send me foods that you have made that I've showed you guys. That means the world to me, and I always repost it in my story because I get so excited. Like these pancakes are not dry at all. They're really good. I don't know if you can see like the inside. Like it's so so good. So excuse me. Hmm. I'm leaving because I'm gonna eat and then I have a lot of studying to do. I don't know what I'm doing today. I already celebrated Mother's Day on Friday because it's Mexican Mother's Day. So I'm gonna have this day for me, study, get my things together because tomorrow is a new week. And I love you guys. Remember, do what's right, not what's easy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't for more videos that pushes me to do more. And thank you and welcome to all my subscribers. Bye.